Boom, boom. This is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right. We got a bit of Bleach Immortal Soul today. We got a, quite a few things going on in the game, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right. First of all, we've got a, a new event up, uh, the Soul Box event. But let's go ahead and go over uh, some of the current events that have been running for the past uh, uh, quite some time now, for almost 10 days. So we got the travel season. Uh, it was still up. We are on uh, day 11 of that. So make sure that you do claim uh, your three tour challenge tokens. Once you get those, the challenge here, that'll give you three draws uh, on the summon, which is moving on. Uh, I managed to get 12 of these. Uh, I'm probably just going to end up using the 10 time tokens right down here. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get like 16, but I seriously doubt that. We've only got a few days left in the event. So, but um, I'll probably just get the time token. Uh, and then, you know, depending on how many other ones I have left, maybe I'll be able to purchase maybe four or something. Otherwise, they'll just have to purchase, uh, you know, maybe some of the, the coins or some of the enhancement materials. But and then I'll use that to get me some shards for uh, most likely uh, Anniversary Ichigo since I've pretty much decided to go ahead and bring him up as my next character simply for a squad boss um, and, and his support. Uh, and I don't know if his support will be able to extend into PvE or not. Uh, we'll have to see, but I really don't think so because none of my PvE team, everybody in the PvE team is pretty much there for a reason. Uh, I, I don't think, you know, I definitely need uh, the tank and Ichigo and um, uh, Sazzy and, uh, you know, Full Hollow Ichigo is just for the rage recovery and whatnot. Uh, in fact, he's just as tanky as uh, the other two almost. So really don't see anybody uh, and Anniversary Ichigo is not a damage dealer. Uh, he does increase the damage of the back row so well you know but once i get him up there it's something that we can start alternating with and see if i can get something that might be more useful uh, but for the time being that's what i'm going to plan on doing is bringing up uh uh anniversary edition ichigo so that's up also the treasure trial is back uh if you remember this uh might have remembered it from not it was what three weeks ago four weeks ago where they had this up uh, i was really surprised that they bring it out again um, basically, this is awesome, awesome um, way to get shards for SSR weapons. Uh, if there's any SSR characters, um, I'm working on base to go because I do use him in my squad boss. Uh, he does pretty good damage. Uh, so he's really the only SSR that I, I'm actually focusing on, you know, for long term. Uh, you know, Han is uh, something to exist to do, but it's just, you know, uh, don't really need that. I'm, I'm probably going to try to focus on Christmas Edition or Emmy because since she's the best healer in the game, uh, I can get her up to four. So I really don't uh, see the need to actually, um, you know, focus on Unihana when I've got uh, Anniversary Edition um, or Emmy ready to go four stars. So I, I don't really see the need to do that. So uh, what I'll do is um, I've already uh, I have two weapons that I've double enhanced. I've double double enhanced. Um, Ilkora's weapon uh, and a double, enha double enhanced Ichigo's weapon. They've both been awakened, you know, two, two, level awakened two. So the first time you awaken it requires one uh, of the Zanpak two, then the second one requires two of it. So I've done that for Ilkora and I've done that, they've done that for Ichigo. So this weapon right here that I get out of here because it's uh, enough to, you know, actually make one because you, you know, it needs 50 shards. You got 15. 30, 45, and 50. So you've got the shards to actually make one here. Uh, 15, 30. So you got 60 shards here. You only need 50, so you'll have 10 left over. But that's enough to make a UR weapon for somebody. I'll probably just go ahead, like I say, since I'm the only SSR uh, I'm really focusing on at the moment is uh, uh, Ichigo. So I'll just start leveling up his weapon. That's just the way it is. You know, if something changes, you know, uh, you know I've got a couple in the back burner, so I've got uh, you know, possibly Soy Fawn and possibly Lisa, who are the only two other SSR characters uh, other than Inahana that, have, Inahana that I would actually consider doing, but, you know, not something to focus on at the moment. But this is back up. This is very high level, guys. Uh, the boss in this thing is, um, is huge. I mean, I'll go ahead and do it here. Uh, one, you know, 1.4 million. Okay. Uh, I beat it last time. I managed to get all the way through to the end and get the rewards. Uh, it looks to be roughly the same in terms of the of the power. 
So I should be able to beat it again. I'm actually higher. I was at eight, like eight. I, I, I have to work at the video, but I think it was like a, I think I was. I want to say I was only at like eight seventy four or something like that. Might have been lower than that. Um, but and, and I managed to get through it, so I should be able to get it with nine twenty two four hundred five, which is what I'm up to now because I've increased my power quite some. So, but, but yeah, it's got some good rewards. So it's definitely something to go for. Uh, I do what what I do is I just go through it. Okay, I completely go through it. I use my base team. I don't try to get any of the miscellaneous rewards the first time through. Okay, this doesn't cost stamina or anything, so you can run it as many times as you want. Um, so I go through the first time, collect the end rewards, then I go back through and see if I can get some of the other stuff. Uh, like on this one right here, I didn't do anything, but I actually got the uh, alternate, uh, uh, the gold for that. You got a gold and silver chest. So, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to run through it, complete it, get the rewards at the end, and then I'll go back through and see if I can get any of the, the chests uh, by doing some of the specialty requirements to actually get the chest. I'm not a big fan of these types of uh, uh, events because they put these ridiculous um, you know, qualifiers on you that are really difficult uh, to beat. Uh, it's going to be difficult for me to beat a lot of them um, because I have to break up my team to do it and my you know when you start breaking up team and you know you happen to put in weaker characters like I don't have like that one is you can't deploy any attack characters. How in God's name are you going to be <laughs> deploying an attack? You'd have to, you know, I don't think anybody's going to get that. Simply because of the fact that, yeah, I can put in a bunch of tanks and a bunch of support characters, but they're really not going to do a whole lot of damage because they're, real, you know, if you make a tank, they sort of, you know, reduce its damage simply because of the fact that it's a tank. So, yeah, it's just, but so I don't like what they do, but, you know, we'll try it and see what we can do. Okay, so those are the two other events that are up. Now, the big event is, of course, the Soulbox event uh, for, uh, 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 it's Sodinus here, Yuki, we're just going to call her Yuki, uh, for Yuki and for Toshiro, of course. Now, this is an interesting one for me. Uh, I got Yuki, I got her on the last, uh, she was new, you know, new character, so I've got her at two stars. Um, she's a, her, she's an okay character, she does the freeze, which is, which is a nice DOT, but really um too much to actually bring up I, you know if if i'm going to focus i'm going to be focusing on nukers so she's not something i'm going to focus on however toshiro this is the ur version of toshiro i don't have him you when toshiro first came up they they really they introduced him as a new character and they'd done it right after i'm pretty sure it was right after a soul box so i was unable to i, I did not have enough um shards and stuff to go after him so i didn't really focus on him so i don't have him so i i'm not really going to focus on him either at this point but i do want to have the character just in case sometime in the future i do want to go he is a dragon which makes him uh useful in terms of raging uh once you get him fully kitted and raged up he will rage uh immediately just like oh i don't know if you noticed that but dragon if you if dragon uh Azure Dragon characters rage at the beginning. Okay, I I have, you know, when I when I start a match, uh, as long as I have the first initiative, of course, you have to have a higher initiative than the opponent that you're playing. But my four will immediately uh, hit their rages. So you know, um, full hollow which go rages. Okay, wait it you go rages, or Dan guy it go rages, and Tinsen Zen gets you. They rage right out of the gate. Which is why it makes a lot of things easy because if I have higher, usually it wipes out the team, <laughs> the opposing team. Uh, so anytime you have, an, but you you have to make sure that you do. You have to enhance their the the you, get, you know if you go to the Warsaw I'll show you here. I will do tenses and get to. Just make sure that you focus on maxing these up. Recovers four hundred rage when okay. So make sure that you you know you fully max out that stuff okay so i'm probably just going to do you know i'm going to do the draws i'm going to do draw, enough draws to get i don't really have a lot of soul jade okay i still have not recovered from the previous soul box um uh where we went uh you know i went full tilt on that so i'm probably just going to do enough to get 30 shards 
so that I, we can actually make up uh, Toshiro. Remember, we can't use, you know, we can't use these, you know, the tokens, the summon tokens on this event. Uh, that, that's only good for new characters and on the Soul Jade summons. For the event, you have to have these, and these are only purchased. I think you can only get these by purchasing them with money. Yeah, I think you have to go into the, the, the actual um, packs to actually purchase those. So we can't get that. So uh, I, I'm not, you know, I don't have enough to get his weapon. Uh, I'm going to pull just enough to get the 30. So I, I did a, a free pull this morning, and I managed to get the weapon, which is, of course, useless to me. Like I said, I didn't want the weapon. But I've got shards for the weapon, so if maybe in the future, if that's the way I want to go. So let's go ahead and do some draws on this event here. There is a Soul Jade rebate up, as always, so you'll be able to get a rebate. Uh, so, okay, so we've got four and then another for the weapon. So I've already got ten for his weapon. Uh, and we've got four shards. Okay, now let's take a look at the rewards. So the rewards for this are weapon shards, so that's not, does not apply. Uh, that's standard. I just want to make sure, I want to make sure they're not changing anything. Uh, the devs sometimes get itchy fingers and like to throw in things, but this seems to be the same. So let's confirm every other pack a weapon and then four shards each draw. Let's confirm that is what they're still doing. And yes, it is. So every other draw, you'll get five weapon shards. Okay, so it means you're going to have to do, you need 50 weapon shards. So you're going to have to draw every other, you'll get five. Okay, so it's going to take you quite a bit of soul jade. Uh, you'd probably, you, it's, it's best to have roughly close to 20,000 soul jade. Because you can get the Soul Jade rebate and get a bunch of get a bunch more Soul Jade to continue your pools, but I think that usually does it. As long as you have about twenty, you should be okay. I don't, but I'm, that's not worried. I'm not going for it. So I've got eight shards uh, for that. Okay, so this will be twelve. I'm hoping I'll have enough to do it, and I'll get the five more. Yeah, twelve. Okay. So sixteen. Twenty, another five shards. Got another Kira. Okay, so eighty. So, uh, let's go ahead and connect these. Get a lot. Uh, you know, it's you get a lot of. Uh, uh, Omni shards and stuff in this, so it's it's really it, even if you know even if you don't want the character. So let's see here. Let's confirm the amount of shards. Yeah, I have 24 shards, so I need going to need to do two more pulls, uh, which will give me eight, which will pop me up to 32, which will be enough to get him. Uh, I've only got enough for one pull, but the Soul Jade rebate is up, as I said, so you can be able to uh, extend the pulls quite a bit here. That's why I love doing these uh, soul box events that they give you this rebate here. So yes, so I've got enough to do the two more pulls now, and then we'll be able to make Toshiro. Like I say, I don't really plan on doing anything with Toshiro at this time. I just went to character. I don't have any, you know, uh, he, he he was introduced, you know, like I say, he was introduced at a bad time for me. So I didn't have a chance to make him. I do like Toshiro in the actual anime. Okay, so that's it right there. I've got him right now okay so that's uh that should be all i'm going to do uh in terms of that so we'll go ahead and make him here let me finish up these uh and quick take this reward here uh i like the omni shards so i now have both of the characters so let's go into the box so let's go into the bag here and we'll go ahead and do this right here and we'll use these shards and we will throw them all towards Toshiro. 32 shards. And then we'll go to, well, I just didn't have to leave the bag. We'll go to that and combine him. So we now have the UR version of Toshiro. I did not have him at all, like I said. So I'm glad now that I actually do have him. So we pulled the advanced chest. So like these. You usually get pretty good Omni shards. It usually runs at about 50%. 
and that's exactly what I got, 50%. Um, so, and then these are always good. This is good for your uh, initi initiative. At, uh, anytime you can get anything uh, in, in a purple gift boxes. So what to do with the weapon? Uh, since I'm really not going to use either of the characters, uh, I'll probably just go ahead and pop them towards... Um, it's a UR weapon, so like I say, UR weapon boxes are like the hardest thing in the game to get. So, and this is his soul box, so there's probably not going to be another soul box on him uh, in some time. So I do have another option now um, to change it to Shiro now that I've got him. So this uh, this this is pretty good in terms of go ahead and uh, finishing up the characters as I do have the character. Yeah, it was one of the ones that, uh, uh, when it did came out, it's one of the ones that I did actually want. Got all the codes, code discussion going on. Yeah, that's that. So we now have Toshiro. Yep, it's also, that allows me to bring him up. So just uh, the only one we're missing is the UR version of Jin right now. So we'll have to, have to work on that. Uh, but this is the actual, and uh, uh, I think this was the the summer event because the summer event had Matt's, yeah, it had Matt's moto and it had Jin. This is that version of Jin. Uh, it's not the actual regular version. There's the regular version of Jin. Um, so yeah, but so that one's not going to be something I'm going to be getting anytime soon, since I'm focusing on uh, I'm focusing on neither of those characters. I do have Matt's moto, but because uh, she was the free offering in that particular. Well, not quite free, but easy enough to get. Uh, we'll say the free-to-play offering. She's actually a good character. Support, uh, not damage. That's the same with the Anniversary Edition Ichigo. Uh, not a very heavy damage dealer, although he does pretty good damage. It's just the fact that his support is off the scale. Uh, uh, attack buffs. Uh, uh, is, you know, it, it just makes him extremely, extremely useful. So that's what I'm doing. So my character focus has been, like I say... Uh, the the base team, of course, is uh, Tensa, and then um, Dan Guy Ichigo, White Ichigo, uh, on the back, and then the front line is uh, on the wings are uh, Sazzy and your core, and then we've got uh, a full Hollow Ichigo in the center, and that's what I use for my PVE and PVP team. Now for squad boss, uh, I take out Sazzy and I take out your Quora and I throw in Kenpachi and I throw in uh, Ichigo, base Ichigo. Uh, and that's, this is what I run as a, that's what I run as a squad boss team because a squad boss is blue, so you want to run red. And that's the same team that I use for um, Karakura Town event going up against Aizen because Aizen is blue as well. So that's what I'm doing. So, but I'm bringing up Anniversary Edition Ichigo. Uh, I mean, you could run a whole Ichigo team, probably have an account out there, somebody's seen a full Ichigo, full Ichigo team that you could actually put together. <laughs> I mean, we've got we've got one, two, um, three, four, and we've got five. So there's five of him out there now. So I think we're one short of making a uh, Ichigo team. Uh, yes, we are one short of making a, an entire team with just Ichigo. It actually would not be that bad. I'm using <laughs> I'm using uh, almost all of them myself too. So it would not be that bad. Um, but yeah, so this is the one I'm bringing up. And like I said, I'm bringing him up specifically because of his skill set. He's not going to, you know, I don't, I have no plan at this time to use him in PvE, but uh, deals damage to all enemies. But really what you want is increases the damage rate of the back row by 12% for two rounds and causes the ally back row to recover 120 rage after the rage attack is concluded, okay? That's extremely important because of the fact that, as you know, you do most of your damage inside of rage. Squad boss lasts 20 turns, so rage two, three. You want to rage as many times as you can. Anything that's going to give you rage uh, regeneration, such as full hollow Ichigo, or in this case, anniversary edition Ichigo. So this, that's just what makes his, you know, an excellent cele cele celebration blessing is even better because it gives you the atmosphere. Uh, and Ichigo's rage attack causes us to recover rage instead of just so now even the front row and my whole team. Generally, my whole team usually survives the squad boss, okay? Uh, I don't think I've had anybody die in the squad boss in quite some time. Uh, once you get up to, like, three, green three, green three,
green three, green two, green three, you'll start to see that you won't have any of your, even your weak characters, they just won't be dying. You've used got enough to, to withstand it, as long as you've got them properly kitted out with armor and whatnot. But the atmosphere increases the character's damage rate and damage reduction rate. Uh, that will be exceedingly useful inside the character town event, because I do occasionally lose somebody in that event. You know, because Eisen does that, uh, uh, the what's, I can't, what's it called? Uh, it makes you attack your own people. Uh, you know, it's just the, the, the facts of his impact who does that it makes you see things that you, that's not what's happening. It totally like mind control and, and it makes you attack your own. So that's what it does. So sometimes, unfortunately, when like Tenses and gets to attack somebody, he kills them. Unfortunately, it, it's not uh, it's not very cool at all. But that's the way it goes. And then you've got the assistance characters in the front row. Uh, Increase the damage reduction rate of the back row ally in the same column as then when the ally character in the front row die, they heal the back row. So, especially in the character or counter when that person in the front row dies, it it's going to heal the person in the back. So that's nice. So it's got so this is you know it's an extremely it's like I said in my last video or two videos ago. This is like this he should be called Squad Boss Ichigo because what he has. You know, uh, just does it. You can call him one of his you can call him when he is because he's perfect for those particular types of uh, events. So that's why I'm decided to bring him up. And he's a UR character, so he's got the base stats to go with it. It's going to be difficult to get your hands on his umbrella simply because UR weapons are difficult to get anyway. Really, the easiest way and only way to get him is in the squat is in the soul box events. But he's a specialty character. So you're not going to be able to do it that way either. So the only way to get it is when they have specialty uh, events come out, which are very far, few and far between. So getting his getting his weapons going to be really something difficult, uh, actually being an investment. But uh, I heard they're they're talking about some things coming out that might make that a little bit more doable. Uh, I consider my I'm not technically free to play completely. I mean, like I said, I've spent $24 on the game. I spent $19.95 on the growth plan. I'll show that to everybody so you can see what it is. I I considered it to be a good purchase. Okay. It's this right here. Uh, I purchased it. I don't, it was $19.99 when I purchased it. I, I, I started playing the game first day it came out. I was there. first One of the first to download it and start playing it. Um, so, it, but, but basically, it gives you Soul Jade after you achieve the levels. I'm still going to get 3,500 whenever they raise the cap to 100. It's not at 100 right yet. 97 is the max. So once they raise it to 100, I'll get another 3,500. So it's like 30. Yeah, it's like what was it? 30. It's a bunch of soul jade. So you're basically paying. Um, I paid 19.99 for 50,000 soul jade. That's you know not a big deal for me. Uh, you know, I, I really liked the game. Uh, I started playing it. I loved it. So, uh, shortly, you know, I think it was within a week after I started playing, uh, maybe seven to eight days, I said, yeah, this is a really good game. I like it. Um, I was enjoying it. So, I went ahead and said, all right, I give the devs a little bit of money. So, I purchased a Soul Jade rebate, $19.99. I don't know if it's still $19.99. So, anybody on a server who hasn't purchased it, I don't know if it's increased. Like I say, I might have got it at an introductory offer. I don't know if it's increased or gone down. So, but that's what I got it for. And then, like I said, if if you list watch my videos, you know that I purchased the 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 event, the first event that Bleach had that they got reamed for and ended up having to apologize. Uh, gave everybody free rewards because they rigged it. Um, but you know, I ended up having to buy six of the rate ups, which was at ninety nine cent per. And I purchased six, so for five dollars and ninety-four cents. So, nineteen ninety-nine and five dollars and ninety-four cents. Uh, I did it specifically because I wanted Orihime. Uh, I wanted the healing. You know, I I, I like Orihime as a character, but I really wanted her because she's the best healer in the game. And, and you, you know, you might need healing in the future. The way the game's going, you might need a healer. There's only really two healers that are worth talking about, and that's our Hime, your version, and Unahana. But Unahana is an SSR version. Okay, so uh, our Hime does healing, and she has other support that makes her that makes her better in terms of uh, usefulness. So I've got her. I have enough to bring her up. You see, that's the point. You can 
once you get the character, you can use Omni Shards. But you can't use Omni Shards to get a character. You got to get the character with the shards. They rigged that event. The grid, it's like, uh, I have videos. So if you look past through my, uh, through my playlist on Bleach, you'll find the video and watch it. And you'll see, I explained it out, how I did the math and realized that there was no way to get it unless you purchased the, the rate up. It was only for 99 cents, so I purchased six of them, which got me the shards needed and enough to open the grid and complete. And I got it. But you would not have gotten it if you did not do that because it was rated against you. Okay? Uh, and they got reamed for it big time. Uh, a bunch of people nailed them on Reddit, all kinds of places. Uh, they apologized by sending out a bunch of goodies. <laughs> okay. Um, but they, at least they had knocked it. And then the next event they gave us the anniversary edition, they gave us a free Ichigo. Uh, and the last event after that, they gave us a free Matsumoto. Uh, this event, they didn't give us anybody free, but this is, you know, the, we'll have to see, but they, they gave us two free characters afterward, good characters too, so I'm not going to complain. So, uh, you know, I, I like that they apologized for it. They fessed up to it. Um, and, you know, it wasn't cool, but it is what it is. Uh, I got the character that I wanted so in the long run, you know, it only happened to spend, considering some games it costs like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 80 bucks to get a character. I happened to spend a little bit of, you know, $5.94 to get a character that I really wanted. I'm not too adverse to that. But that's what I've sent. So anybody, uh, I know somebody asked me if I was free to play. So I'm free to play. Uh, that I, I'm still under, I'm like right at $25, $26. I won't be spending any more money on the game. Uh, I, I, I don't, yeah, I just play the game daily. I do everything I'm supposed to do daily. Uh, I've already done my dailies for today. So yeah, as you can see, uh, yeah, I do my dailies. Okay. Uh, everything I've gotten in terms of my levels, uh, of stats, characters, it's all been free to play. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to spend, if I like a game, I'll spend money on a game. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of money on a game. I'm not going to spend fifty, sixty dollars uh, on a mobile game. Uh, you know, I play the game. If I like the game, I'll give a, a little bit of money to help the game going on. Um, I'm not going to try to be completely, completely free to play. But it, you know, I, I spend, you know, like I spent, I spend a little bit of money. I've spent a little bit of money on Azure Lane. Um, not over, not over twenty-five dollars. And I spend a little bit of money. Actually, I haven't. No, I haven't actually spent any money in Destiny Child. Although there was some something I was considering, but I ended up not going to, because. Uh, but all three of these games, uh, you don't need to spend money. Um, I like to in Azerlane. I collect all of the ship girls, so I need space to store the ship girls. <laughs> so Azerlane gives you gems for f free, but not very often. So every now and then, I need to purchase a gem pack. And they always have really good sales where you can get like a couple hundred gems for just a few bucks. So occasionally I'll purchase that to make sure I got enough gems and I'll increase my dock space. Like my dock space is I'm up to like, if you watch my Azure videos, you'll see my dock is like full. I got, over, I got like almost every character in the game. I think there's only one or two characters I don't have. So yeah, that's just, you know, but that's the way it is. So I need dock space. So that's what I do. It. But yeah, I've no, it's only been, it's probably been, I would say probably, if I remember correctly, I figured it up. I think it was like, I think it was like 16 bucks, 15 or 16 bucks is all I've spent. And I haven't spent any money on Destiny Child. So, but yeah, you can play these games from a free-to-play perspective. Uh, it's just, you know, it makes things a lot more difficult uh, for Dock Space and Azure Lane. If you don't, you know, then you get the gems. They do give gems in the game. You can get them for free. But it just, uh, you know, during the events for holiday seasons and stuff, they give out gems. But, you know, with all the events they had last year, with all the new characters they entered, they entered a lot of new characters. Uh, I, yeah, dock space tends to be an issue. So I purchase, uh, uh, occasionally I'll purchase, a, uh, you know, you can get like four ninety nine. you can purchase and get like 150, 200 gems. You only need 200 to increase your dock space. So, but yeah, I have purchased it a couple times. But that's about all I've done. You know, I don't purchase the skins or anything like that. Which is where actually Azure Lane, I think, makes most of their money is through their skins. But uh, yeah, I, I don't really you know go for the skins. Uh, and you know, every now and then uh, you purchase oath rings and stuff in the game. Okay, so that's what I've got. So this is Bleach. Get the event. Event is up. It's gonna be up for three days. So make a decision. Good characters. 
both of the characters are really good. You know, Toshi freezes, uh, Yuki freezes, so this should be called the freeze soul box because both characters have cold attacks. So they are useful. Um, I just don't have any of my teams, so, but I did want to get my hands on Toshi simply because I didn't have him. Yeah, you know, so I've got him now, I'm happy. So that is all I'm going to do for today. But yeah, so full event, so a lot to do. So uh, uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, guys. Once you've subscribed, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Uh, and uh, YouTube will generally notify you that I have posted up a new video. Also remember to like and share the video because that does help the channel immensely. So this is Kendrick coming out from the corner, signing out.